Hey, welcome to Sports Brunch. Uh, so after a couple weeks of bopping around, we're back in the studio to talk to you about week three. And more, I feel like it might be a little easier to talk about who isn't injured more than who is injured this week. What are your thoughts? Yeah, it's pretty brutal out there. Uh, we know for sure so far that Cam Newton, quarterback for the Panthers, Damian Williams, running back for the Chiefs, and Devin Singletary, running back for the Bills, are out. Yes. There are a lot of guys you're going to have to watch up until game time. But let's start with Damian Williams for the Chiefs. Right now, LaShawn McCoy practiced in full today, but he's been limited all week with an ankle injury. We know that Damian Williams is already out. I know Darwin Thompson is, is someone that you recommended a few yeah. weeks ago. People kind of stashed. What is it that you like about him? Um, so yeah, he isn't owned much in fantasy. He's only has like a 27% rating. He is someone that looked awesome in preseason. And I think that now that he has a chance with those guys out, he really could show what he has to prove. And I think he's gonna be a great pickup. That's an awesome one. Also, Devin Singletary for the Buffalo Bills, as we mentioned, ruled out this week. Luckily, you have a built-in kind of fail-safe there with Frank Gore. It's so crazy because he's 36 years old and still a beast running back. Yeah, he still is amazing, absolutely. But um, he's also available in, like, uh, I think almost 60% of ESPN leagues. So he's someone that I would go and get this week. They're facing the Bengals, who are the 30th-ranked run defense mm -hmm. after the first two weeks. Seems like a, a gimme. Um, so I would go with him. Then we'll go to Emily. You have Alshon Jeff. I right? do, yes. And he gave me the big zero last week because he left the game early with injuries. They're saying they're really hoping he's going to suit up this week, but I'm not counting on it. He's definitely sitting on my bench. Well, I mean, the Eagles had so many injuries this week that they canceled practice on Wednesday when they were supposed to So they're basically to get like, we'll take anyone. Anyone who's willing to play, we'll take. Yeah. <laughs> so Deshaun Jackson is also out for sure for two weeks. Uh, Doug Peterson, the coach, is trying to say that Alshon Jeffrey is going to go, but I'm not buying it. They play again on Thursday. It's a short week, right. so I don't think they're going to risk that, which means Nelson Aguilar is a steal right now. He got 100 yards and a touchdown after everybody went out hurt last week. And he's pretty much going to be the only guy besides tight end Zach Ertz that Carson Wentz has to throw to on Sunday. I really like him as a pickup if you're in a bind. I hope you went and got some of our waiver wire picks this week. But if you didn't, go ahead and get Nelson Aguilar. And then we'll move on to, I have Josh Jacobs. That's the last running back that's hurt that's supposed to go. He did finally practice at the end of the week, but he's not only dealing with a groin injury, he's also dealing with an illness that he says made him lose 10 pounds. Right. Mm -hmm. And they're playing the Minnesota Vikings, which is a stout run defense, so I do not like that matchup. And it's a guy where Jalen Richard is his backup. I it's not a backup I would recommend picking up either, so I really think that you should either go out and get Frank Gore or Raheem Mostert for the 49ers, who had a great week last week, um, as a pickup if you need a floater, if you're mm -hmm. not going to start Josh Jacobs this week. 